Well, here we are, back in Katowice city centre. It's day three of my Upper Silian urban area tram adventure. There's a couple of Pessa twist trams over there and one over there. Now, I've realised that these seem to centre around Katowice. It seems if you want to see the older console trams like we saw yesterday, you have to travel out to the other towns and cities which the network serves. So yesterday I travelled that way, west. Not actually down that route, but sort of in that direction, west. And we went to Bytham and a couple of other towns. Now I'm going to travel east, down that way, down the newest part of the network, Route 15, or at least the last section of Route 15 is the newest part of the network. So my plan is to go there. We've seen some quite old sections of the network. I want to go and see what the most modern section of the network is like. coming on to the newest part of the network so you can see there's a, a turning circle here which appears to have been rebuilt but we're carrying on beyond that now the last section was more like a light railway we we're running along in a cutting i did actually wonder if it was possibly an old railway it may well have been we've arrived at this stop here which is well completely we're well, not underground as such but it's under a road it certainly feels a lot newer. It feels a bit like some of the UK tram systems where you travel on and then you... So we're now on the newest section of the whole network. It's, there's quite a lot of other sections being rebuilt as we saw yesterday and I think I'm going to find the same today. But my plan is to ride this section to the very end. Yeah, look at You can see this is all fairly new. Ride this section to the very end just to see what's there really and then travel back because back down there another tram route passed over the top of us so they've been interchanged with two separate tram routes so we'll ride in and see what we find here we are the end of the newest part of the tram network ends here like a through station but then it goes round the roundabout you can just see the tram we've just been traveling on just going around the roundabout. I think he's going to have to wait here or is he going to come in? There's two departure platforms and one arrival. So is he coming in? He's just gone to a red mouse. So I think the tram must travel and yeah, he is bringing... Actually, it's a lady. Quite often in um, Eastern Europe, even back into the 80s, the tram drivers were often females, which I think is quite nice in a way. So yeah, the lady, our lady driver, smiling at me making a video. <laughs> he's just bringing the tram into the stop. So... That will now head back all the way to Katowice. So this is the newest part of the network. It's really just a huge, huge housing estate. There's tower blocks everywhere I look. It reminds me a bit, the last time I went somewhere on this kind of scale in Eastern Europe was Medya in Hungary, uh, which is a huge suburb of Page, the fifth largest city in Hungary. And this is like this, but that doesn't have any trams, unfortunately. We have talked about building trams, but we'll go there and do a video on that another time. So, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to, before travelling back, I'm going to look for a cafe. There's a little over there, and I expect I'm going to find a cafe somewhere. So, time for a coffee, I think. So, I've just got off at this stop here on my way back down Route 15. Our Pessa Twist tram heads back towards Katowice city centre. Now, this stop is a bit more metro station like, as in it's kind of not completely the track has its own running it's not on you know with cars i'll tell you what it reminds me of it's the beckton branch of the docklands light railway that's a bit like this the tram lines or or in that case light rail lines run in the middle of a main road and that's what this is Love a nice church over there the interesting thing about this stop is it supposedly has interchange with another tram route and that was my reason for wanting to get off here interestingly they do have um chairlifts so if anyone does need to uh, level access then it does have that facility which is quite good to know still a lot of these tower blocks around those ones have been refurbished some of the ones i've seen haven't so they sort of look um, very kind of brutalist but once they've been refurbished they kind of can look quite nice to come up here and oh, where's this other stop okay ah oh, it's over there but it looks like i've got across the road and go under to come up and there's a stop 
in the middle of the road. So let's see if we can find our way to that other tram stop. So oh, I see there's a zebra crossing up here. Gives us a bit awkward. Just see. Just missed it. I just saw the last few carriages of a local hall passenger train on the railway line over. That's a shame. Come oh, well. on. So I can get across the road here. Zebra crossing. People are very good at waiting, you know, and sometimes some countries it's not obligatory to stop and it's impossible to or hard to get across several crossings, but here don't seem to have that problem. So I think even more feeling like I'm entering metro station. I've got to go down there and then the tram lines are in the middle. So oh there's a Fiat Uno down there. I haven't seen one of those for a long time. There's a few interesting cars I've seen about. Yeah, look, I see it, you know, just down there. I remember my dad used to have one of those when I was a child. You hardly ever see them in the UK. We have a good stuff about. I've seen a few FSOs about. No 125Ps yet, but I've seen a few FSO Kairos. So I'm on the lookout always for any interesting cars. Anyway, to get to those tram stops, I need to go down oh, into this uh, rather dark looking underpass. I have to say, even in places like this, it does feel very safe. Some European cities you go to are a bit dodgy. On the whole, I have felt fairly safe here. Also, I seem to be about the only English person here. I've not heard often when you go to European countries, you often hear other English people. I think because this really is not a touristy area, I've not come across any other English tourists. Or, to be honest, I've hardly seen any tourists for that matter. Um, well, yeah, I'm in the right place. So I probably could have just run across the road, but you're not supposed to do that here in Poland. So, oh no, I was supposed to be on that side, wasn't I? But there's a tram, there's some old console trams coming. So what we'll do, we'll wait and watch those pass through. They're just at the next stop, and then I'll cross over and catch my tram. Because I think Route 24, this is a single track beyond here, so I'm looking forward to exploring that part of the network. So this is the end of Route 24, not a lot here, a few abandoned sites. The tram then goes off round a, a loop, so I think he's already gone round the loop, so I, I got off and um, yeah, where did he go? The plan was to film the tram go round the loop, but unfortunately my camera just completely froze and I missed it, so I'm a bit annoyed about that, but anyway, let's have a look. Oh no, he did something more and I think he I think turned, because that's the tram I was on just coming that way, so I think it's a, it's a turning triangle. So yeah, he, he comes along there and turns on the triangle, which is, I know that existed. I think I might have mentioned yesterday that you do get that occasionally in these European cities, but I wasn't sure I was gonna find that here. Let's just have a look, see that is the case. I feel now I'm obliged to wait and watch the next one do that. So yeah, he stopped there. Is he off already? Yeah, so he, he's waiting there was a male driver this time. Nice old factory building. So the tram drops off its passengers there, it goes up to just where that zebra crossing is. Then he reverses down there and then draws forward. So I'm going to have to hang around here for 20 minutes and watch that. There's a railway line over there, I might go to the station while I wait to see if there's anything interesting to see. So here we are, we found our first triangular terminus in Upper Saeed.
So here we are, we're on tram 1009, it's one of the more modern trams but still single car so it had to do the three point turn on the triangle out there, it's fascinating to watch how the lady come out a little hut and you know stood in the road. As for low floor, well it's low-ish here and you've sort of got an upper bit and an upper bit so it's, it's a very small tram but it's not many places do you see modern trams that are single cars, modern trams tend to be articulated so to me this is a traditional tram, it's a one carriage vehicle. It has USB charging points. I've noticed some of the newer trams, the PESA trams, do have that. I'm not entirely sure if this is a PESA tram. Um, I can't see any PESA badges on it. It has the this kind of mode kit. So we saw yesterday some have the colliery mode kit. It has this one with the, the tram logo on it. So I'm going to ride all of Route 24 now from here right the way through uh, to the other end now. So it should be interesting see what's there and then we'll go and do some other routes after that. So further up onto the network, I'm on a different tram, the one I was on terminated, so um, I'm not sure why, but this bit I particularly wanted to show is a huge roundabout which various tram routes join to from different angles. So you can see that's the roundabout and it is in the middle of a roundabout. There's another tram like the one we were on earlier, it's just, yeah just over there, going, going around the roundabout. So there's a route going off up there, single track route, that looks fun. There's another tram going off there. And we seem to be going straight ahead, so it's this huge sort of gyratory of tram lines, it's really quite exciting. And, um, yeah, and you can hear the, the wheels protesting bits of, whoa look at that, there's a huge castle up there. Quite well you can see that. So if I get out here I might have to go and have a look at that later. So we've now, yeah we're, let, we're leaving the gyratory and we're heading off to the end of this route, this is what was Route 24, we seem to now be on Route 27. The, the map I'm using doesn't, isn't always quite up to date, so route numbers seem to have changed. Anyway, we're not going to find the end of this route. This is the end of this route, it wasn't particularly far on from that gyratory. The tram, oh it goes into the depot. So the tram yeah, disappearing into the depot and then possibly either the same tram or another tram will come out and take us back. So I'm probably going to go, there's a little supermarket, go in there, grab something to eat for lunch and then I'll ride back down to where that gyratory is and see what we can do from there. So I'm back to that gyratory stop again. The tram I went on went off on that direction, there goes another one. Now I've noticed this stop is actually called Rondo and it made me think that sounds a bit like roundabout so I looked up and it literally does translate to roundabout so that is the roundabout is just there so you've got the route I was up there as we know that went to a depot then you've kind of got a route going across there I'm gonna go up and have a look at that castle now I don't think it's gonna be open but I thought I'd just at least walk up to it and see what there is to see up there I'm having a little break from tram bashy I'm in the castle now there's a model of it, so we're up in that, not the round tower, but the tower next to it, I'm just in there. So I might get some views from the top of the tram, so I can't really get away from the trams, but I sort of can, just for a little bit. So here we are, on the top of the castle. We can see down to that gyratory, the big tram gyratory. Interestingly, it's not actually a roundabout, I've realised from looking up here. Cars only go round one side of it. But it's really quite a fascinating view 
you've got the, the cameras playing about with the light, which is annoying. There's a load of tower blocks over there, which as soon as I'm out of shot, they appear. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Annoying, man. So you've got a huge estate over there. Looking this way, you've got more of a traditional town centre, but again, with more tower blocks in the distance. And then out this way, you've got two things. You've got part of the more of a park and a wooded area. You've got the other huge castle tower. And behind it, the camera's probably not going to pick it out, but there's the cooling st uh, towers of a power station. And you, you may just be able to pick them out beside the big tower. As we've seen, this area, there's a lot of coal mining, there's a lot of coal-fired power stations. Poland doesn't have any nuclear power stations at the moment. There is an unfinished one in the north, which has been unfinished for years. And there's also talk of building another new one, so I have to wait and see on that. But yeah, lots of power stations. I can just see over there, it's hard to pick it out, but there is the line we just travelled on, headed that way to a depot. But there's also a branch that goes off that way to seemingly nowhere. So whether they thought the urban area would expand that way, and it appears it hasn't as of yet, maybe that's why they put that junction in. So what my plan is to do now, I think it's Route 22, the route that runs along there, but travel right off in that direction, up a single track line, and see what we can find when we get to the end of that route. So this is the end of Route 22. They seem to have rebuilt the turn, terminus stroke uh, circle, and there's a, a complete full circle. Should a tram need to go right round, perhaps to rearrange the order of them? So that's the tram I've travelled on. It's just been round the circle, so you can see a lot more of these tower blocks everywhere. If you have a wander over there, I think there might be an older town centre over there. There's a nice-looking church. So we'll just see what there is here. I always find it quite fascinating with a network the size of this when you've got a single track route okay between the last two stops it's actually double track but a mainly single track route you just think what is going to be at the other end and you never know it's like earlier on we found that castle which was you know a really nice thing to find oh now it says the next tram is in 15 minutes they're not that regular on this route so it might be an idea that I don't wander too far so I can travel back on this tram um, if we go up here, or maybe not, well, I can see the church down, well I've got 15 minutes, see the church down there. Um, what I'll do, I'll wander down this street and I'll show you when I get there because I don't think it's going to be overly exciting just walking down this, um, this narrow street towards, towards the church. So I've just been walking down these back streets, which is a bit unplanned, but here we are. There's the beautiful church. There's loads of churches like this all around Poland. So if you come to Poland and you like churches, you won't have far to find one. I'm going to run back to the tram somewhere because I want to get the tram back. I'm not sure if there's enough to keep me amused for another half an hour or so here.
So Route 22 is another one where the whole route isn't in operation. I've travelled to here. The tram went round the loop. That's the tra tram I travelled on. I have filmed it and I've put that on a separate video. So have a look at link on screen now. I'm going to hang around if I can get a different tram back here. There's more tower blocks and um, factories and not a lot else. So I don't think I'm going to stay here that long. Just wait for the next tram. I'm back on the tram now on Route 27 on two of these old console trams, two running in multiple. There's only one other person in this carriage and not many on the front. So I got on back at that gyratory again. I'm going to go to the end of Route 27. It might be dark by the time I get there. And then that'll probably conclude my, um, as much as I can do within daylight. There's still a few routes I could do, but there's not overly point doing them in the dark. So still to the end of Route 27 and that'll probably be it. Saved the most interesting part of my tram dash around up to see you till last. This is Route 27, it's quite mad, it's a bit bumpy. It seems to be mainly single track now, we're further out. We just went over a bridge over what looked like it was an entrance to a factory. We, it keeps varying what we go through. One minute we're sort of this tower box everywhere, and now there's a Well, it's so noisy, there's some motorway we're going over, I think. Yeah, we're just going over a motorway. It's Quite an exciting tram route. It's getting a bit, it's starting to get dark. It's a shame if I realise it's probably as good. I might have done this earlier. But anyway, I think this is quite a nice way to round off my Upper Sicilian urban area adventure. the end it's raining and I've come to the easternmost extremity I can get to it's not the easternmost extremity of the network but unfortunately that line was closer as you so this was a really mad tram route it's definitely my favorite so far it's funny we were running by a train earlier on well that's the railway line there now I'm sort of half tempted to catch the train back to Katowice but I think it was just such a exciting tram route I'm gonna take the tram back it's gonna get dark soon but then when I I might not go all the way back to Katowice by tram I might take a train some of the way, but this is it. I hope you've enjoyed this adventure. It's been really quite exciting. Oh, I think I've just noticed there's another pit of gear there. There's still lots of coal mines around. I've really enjoyed it, so thank you very much for watching. Do come and visit Katowice yourself. You can fly there from the UK. It's a great city, not the most touristy city. In fact, I've not seen any other English people, but I've really enjoyed it here. So thank you very much for watching. Please do feel free to like, subscribe, and comment. And from quite literally the end of the tram route,